for checking out University TV. I'm your host, Jessica, and we're about to embark on a tour of Southern Illinois University Carbondale. The Flying Salukis were kind enough to give us a lift over to campus, so as soon as we touch down, we're going to get this tour started. SIU is located in the rural area of Carbondale in Southern Illinois. The city is within easy driving distance to bigger cities, St. Louis, Memphis, and Chicago. In fact, 55% of the students are from the Chicago area. Carbondale is on the fringe of Shawnee National Forest, plus it's close to seven lakes sandwiched between the Mississippi River to the west and the Ohio River to the east. No need to leave the campus if you want to have a little fun. There's tons of rec activities here on the campus lake with a boat dock and a fitness trail. You can rent out um, paddle boats and canoes and kayaks for free. So that's, it's really fun. SIU's green spacious main campus covers more than 330 acres of possibilities. It's the perfect blend of a vibrant, welcoming campus and strong academics. The heart of Old Main Campus hosts outdoor concerts while the recently refurbished Central Campus is where your education flourishes. You can cut your commute by going through Thompson Woods, which also doubles as an outdoor lab for forestry students. SIU has an enrollment of over 15,000 undergrads, bringing the total population to around 18,850 students. The student body is made up of 54% men to the women's 46%, and more than 26% of students are members of minority groups. There's a challenging curriculum designed to prepare students for career success. Students are admitted if they have earned a 23 composite ACT score or 3.0 core grade point average. The yearly cost for residents of Illinois and many border states is close to $24,000. That includes tuition, fees, room and board, and approximate costs for books, supplies, and living expenses. Southern Illinois University is ranked among the top 100 public universities by U.S. News and World Report. They offer over 100 bachelors, two associate, seven post-baccalaureate, nearly 80 masters, and 34 doctoral law and medical degrees. We have very, very um, solid and, and highly ranked science programs. Our rehab institute is number four in the country. Our, our aviation flight team uh, is either number one or number two uh, for 41 consecutive years. And our alt news uh, students have over 30 Emmys uh, in uh, their, uh, their pocket over the last decade. Aviation flight is where about 200 student, students learn to fly basically from the beginning so they earn their FAA private pilot, commercial pilot, uh, and instrument ratings and multi-engine ratings. Um, and then we have an aviation management program where students learn to become airport managers, airline managers, or work in management jobs in a manufacturer. And then we have aviation technologies, which is where students learn to work on airplanes and they earn their airframe and power plant mechanic certificates. We have 1,200 uh, faculty uh, and another 3,000 staff who are dedicated every single day to student success. Our faculty are world renowned uh, for their research, but uh, a student as early as their freshman year can have access to faculty labs, the stages, the fields where our, our faculty conduct their research and get hands-on experience. Undergraduates who have uh, worked in my lab, um, which has They've been largely supported on grants, but also there are a number of opportunities that Southern Illinois University offers to promote research for undergraduates, and it's given them hands-on experience. Go, fight, win, Salukis! Wait, what's a Saluki, you ask? These guys are Salukis. This is the oldest purebred dog in the world. They date all the way back to 3600 BC. They're known for their speed and their keen hunting skills. Pretty unique mascot, huh? Yeah, I'm not right. Go Salukis! The dog pound is like for the biggest Saluki fans. So it's like a special membership where you get like best seating, you get a nice little shirt, you know, all these really cool things. And uh, it's really cool to see those people at the games because they are like the biggest fans you will ever see. Some Saluki alum who went pro, NBA Hall of Famer Waltz Frazier, and current NFL players Bart Scott of the Jets and Brandon Jacobs of the 49ers. I live in a living learning community, so my whole floor are also students in the honors program here. And um, we're all like our, each other's closest friends because we live together and we study together and we go to class together. And um, 
the RAs always put on like once a week. Maybe we'll have a movie out in the hall just to hang out. Nothing's mandatory. Like uh, the floor of my room every Monday, we have uh, a, a floor dinner at uh, True Blood, which I've heard is a uh, Pretty nice and then we also have random movie nights a lot of people go to this lounge that's on every floor it's a really fun experience and everybody in the dorm is really friendly but it's also great having the academic support because I mean you don't have to go far to get help in fact everybody on my floor at least has one class that either I'm taking or I've taken a class that they're taking so it really helps have that built-in tutoring system and so you know no one has to fall behind because everybody's taking the same classes your involvement is the key to your student's success. I mean, there are over 1,500 programs for resident life alone. It's pretty much impossible to be a couch potato here. Speaking of potato, whenever you sign your resident hall contract, you have access to this expansive dining program with three chefs and even a registered dietitian. In addition to student programming, there are over 430 recognized student organizations, or RSOs. Students aren't just joiners or SIU Carbondale, they are leaders. About 2,200 students hold titled leadership positions within their RSO. There's no slouches either. The RSOs host an average of 387 events a month, ranging from meetings to large-scale campus-wide events. I'm actually a part of Up Till Dawn, which is a club on campus, it's actually nationwide, but um, we put on an event once a year to raise money for St. Jude Children's Hospital. And um, we have meetings year-round to plan that one event, so that's a lot of work, but it's really rewarding. Share the thrill of discovery with your peers at SIU Carbondale. Thanks for joining me as we explore the land of the Saluki here at Southern Illinois University Carbondale. For University TV, I'm Jess. See ya!